Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use Talkie Desk. So let's get to it. So first of all, if you do not have Talkie Desk, first you have to download it. I'll leave a link down in the description. So make sure to check it out if you don't have Talkie Desk. So once you get onto the homepage, it will look like this. This might be a little confusing, but don't worry. Just scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll find everything you'll need for Tacky Desk. If you have a Mac computer, here's the two Mac options. If you have a Linux computer, here's the Linux option. And if you have a Windows computer, here's the Windows option. But you don't need to worry about this if you're gonna just download Tacky Desk. So the version of Tacky Desk that I got was the X64 Zip. The reason why I got the Windows X64 is because my computer runs on X64. And to check what your computer runs on, you could go to settings, you go to to system and you go to about it's in the bottom up here you'll see all the specifications on your computer down here there's something called system type and mine is a 64-bit operating system like the same thing on github it's x64 base processor so that's the one that's right here and it's zip and this is the one i got just get the zip version it gives you all the files you need to open it up on your computer and it should start downloading here on the bottom left corner <laughs> and once it's done down Downloading, it would automatically open your folder. So once you see the file in your folder, all you have to do is click extract the, which would normally be on top. And now it's on my computer. As you can see, it's not a zip file anymore. It's a real folder. So now you could double click on this folder. And right here is where the magic happens. So to launch Talkie Desk, all you have to do is click on Talkie Desk Browser Launcher. Here it is, Talkie Desk. I already got all my saved manga from my phone to Talkie Desk already. So it's already here, but normally on your Talkie Desk, it would have nothing. So I would recommend watching my other video so you could transfer your manga from the phone version to the PC. And to make it even easier for yourself, you could technically just look for your folder, grab onto the folder and drop it down on your home page on your computer. So you could just quickly double click it and open it up. But that's not everything. Let me just give you a basic rundown of how this works. So to start downloading manga, the first thing you're gonna need is to get extensions. To access extensions, you need to click on this puzzle piece of an icon. And if you hover right over it, it says extensions. So you could find it right there. Extensions are basically apps that give you access to manga and other things you might need so you could download them and add them to your folder. I'm gonna put a link to this website in my description as well. This website shows you the best extensions and it gives you a quick description of how they work and how they look. So after you download all these extensions, you go to your sources. So this is where all your extensions live. This is where you find everything you want. And right here you could access and look for all the manga you want to look for. Your extensions live in your sources page. So in your sources, you could search up your manga by clicking the search button next to the extension. Obviously, you want to be using the ones that are popular like Manga Dex, Manga C, Manga Bat. And if you can't find them in any of these, like I said, you could go ahead and look for more extensions on the extensions page. But usually, these main popular ones have everything you want to read that is mainstream. So you don't have to worry about it that much. Much. So you could go to Manga C and search up a manga like Attack on Titan. See, so search it up. All the Attack on Titan manga, all on one page. You could just click on it. You could open it on the website, read it this way, or you could go down here and click any manga you want to read from any chapter, any volume. You could just click on it and read it, so on and so forth. But how do you save it? No worries. It's extremely easy. It's right here on Add to Library. So you. Add it to library and up here in the top right there's three bars right here you could set it on which one you want to save it on of your categories you made like i said there could be comedy horror slice of life or anything you could think of and to make categories all you have to do is go to your settings and click on categories you can make your own categories and then put your manga there so it's not just a cluttered mess on your main library page you could just make your own catalogs so you could save your mangas in different categories and you could just click here add 
add one. To edit one, you just click the pencil. To delete it, you click the trash can. And in the manga, once you click on the manga and once you open up the manga, there's like this arrow on the top left where you could just edit the settings. You could show page number. I like that the page number is showing. It's down here. You could load chapter, next chapter at ending. So you could quickly read it so you don't have to have a loading time. And right here, you could choose the different reading styles like single page and you could just click to change pages you could have double pages to have like two pages at the same time i like continuous vertical so i could continually scroll down then you could change chapters right here with the change chapter button so you could quickly change chapters it's just based on your preferences if you like any of these settings just go ahead and test them out okay and now let's talk about the updates so every time you get a manga and save it into your library if it's ongoing and more mangas coming out you will normally get an update to the manga you're reading like right now there's updates of this manga i have saved on my computer now we go to the downloads queue this downloads queue doesn't work right now but soon probably in a year or two downloads will be a feature that we would have on talkie disc but for now there's no downloads you can only save them online which is good enough if you have internet but if you don't have internet that's too bad for you now let's go to settings and talk about the features you have in the settings page now backup imagine talkie desk stops working and automatically deletes all your manga you could create a backup if you're worried about that but you really don't need to worry about that now we go to theme right here you could change it to dark theme normal theme i prefer dark theme i don't want my eyes on fire and show nsfw if you want to see 18 plus content or content that's blurred out you could just click here and turn it on or turn it off depending on what you want and right here there's image caching just turn it off and on depending on what your computer does. If your manga loads up slower, maybe turn it off. But if your manga is perfectly fine, just don't mess with this. And that will be it. That is everything I know about Taki Desk and how to use it. If you found this video interesting, click a like, subscribe. And if you want to see more or if I missed anything, just drop down a comment. Let me know if you want a video about anything else based on this program or anything else you want me to make a video on.